the problem is it's it's virtue signaling, isn't it? Now I for one would never virtue signal. <laughs> <laughs> Of these, loads of the fans are going, uh, no, I was actually booing racism, right? So when I was booing, it's because I think racism is bad, right? Which is the worst. They're, they're two weeks away from going, no, I was saying boo, lack lives matter. <laughs> That's what they're about to get. <laughs> I don't, I don't buy it at all. Like, no, I was doing racism. Yeah, yeah. And you were just throwing that at that black pair because you thought he was short of potassium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it gets your back up. Like, my mum booed quite a lot at my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> like, six years later, still married, Is so... It, did you take a knee during the vow? <laughs> well, yes, and the vicar was not happy. No. <laughs> He should have done his fly up. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, the G7 is taking place this week, excitingly. Um, do you know where it's taking place? In my pants. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's only because it's less congested there than in yeah. Cornwall. The G stands for gonorrhea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's taking place in Cornwall, a place in called Carbis Bay. Called Carbis Bay, that looks delightful, doesn't yeah. it? You won't be able to get there within 40 miles of Carbis Bay, I'd imagine, this weekend. All the delegations are staying there, apart from the Indian delegation, who've suddenly been moved for no reason to an abandoned lighthouse. <laughs> 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 Four miles off the coast. Cornwall is such an inconvenient place for an international summit. It's Those four strange. international... Cornwall's a bastard to get to from England. <laughs> <laughs> They've shut down all the transport and said they're going to shut all the roads, and, and it's cost an absolute ton to do it. You stick one sheep on the A30 at Bodmin, you'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> What are the locals going to do? They, these, are lo these locals, they get freaked out by city folk with their joined-up writing. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do when they see a German? <laughs> it's going to be massive. They've, they've doubled the police presence to five. <laughs> um... It's 5,000 police, isn't yeah. it? For seven people. Yeah. It's like well, 800 yeah. per person. How Stop dangerous that. do they think pasties and fudge are? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, moving on, what was notable about Prince Harry and Meghan's new arrival? I love this, cos they've called her Lilibet, haven't yeah. they? Which is the Queen's nickname, and loads of people are furious about it. They're like, it's the Queen's private nickname, how could you possibly do that? And I feel like if her private nickname is at a privacy level that I know it, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably all right for her actual grandson to give it to his kid. It's almost like people just want to be angry yeah. uh, about Meghan and Harry. It's almost <laughs> like they just... Well, have any excuse. Yeah. They called it Lilibet because it sounds like Lilliput because they think we're all just little people. <laughs> <laughs> is, her, is her nickname Lilibet? Yes. Lilibet. I yes. thought her nickname was Her Majesty. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, her, that's her gang name. Uh, her gang name is Lilibet. Does it not suggest the future, though? Because they use their children's names, don't they? So Archwell is their non for profit kind of wellness organisation. Lilibet will probably be their online gaming empire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's been, it's been such a hard time for the royals recently, though. You know, Prince Philip very sadly died. Prince Andrew, very sadly, is still alive. And... <laughs> I, I have a lot of respect for, for Meghan and the orange one for doing the only respectable thing that an aristocrat can do, which is piss off and get a job. <laughs> It's a very important thing in our culture. People are always saying it to you. We don't all have to name our child after our grandma's nickname, do we? No, we don't. I don't we want don't. to call my baby long boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't watch this. <laughs> Wasn't that a Tom Jones song? I don't want to call my baby long boob. <laughs> You could imagine him singing it, though. <laughs> you could leave your bra on, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, they make your boobs long. What? Babies do. Oh. Because they suck on them all day. Yeah. Do you not hold the babies while it's happening? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I, I really don't know much about this, please. They, they swing like pendulums. Mm. <laughs> yeah. um, it's the only yeah. way new mothers can tell the time. Uh, <laughs> The end of that round. <laughs> <laughs> the points go to Laura, Hugh, and Reese.